guys, how are you all today? Welcome back to my channel. So recently I have been asking you guys questions on what you want to see on the channel. I know I've been gone for like a long long time and I am sorry for that. You guys probably know the reason if you're following me on Instagram but if you're not, the link to it is down below. Guys, I feel like I promote myself so shamelessly and a lot of you wanted to watch a video on hair care. When I made one on hair care, you guys wanted a how I curl my hair routine and to be honest, as much as I try to you know stay away from hair curlers and hair dryers i don't know why i feel like i'm drawn to these things but my main point is that even though i don't use it a lot when i do it i like try to put my time into it and effort into it because like straight hair is one thing and curled hair is a totally different thing people with curly hair like straight hair people with straight hair like curly hair and that is just the irony of life you guys so today we're going to be doing a how I curl my hair routine. It's not a routine routine per se, but it's just like whenever I curl my hair, this is basically what I do guys. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the hair curler I use is from Vega. I feel like Vega products are really reasonable and they're for people who are just getting started. Uh, typically, I would go to the parlor and get my hair curled, but when I'm running short on time or like if I have to do it too often and you know, I don't have the time or energy to go to the parlor, I would prefer doing it at home. I took a lot of people's opinions and a lot of people really like the Philips hair curlers. Like, I don't know, I don't know anything about Philips as a brand because I've not used their products a lot, but from what I know, I think the hair curlers are really good. However, when I was at the mall, I saw the Vega store and I was like, you know what, I need a hair curler, I might as well just go and buy it. And this one's done a pretty good job. Like, I don't, I, I can't say that I have any problems or complaints with it. So the box says Vega Smooth Curl Hair Ironing Curl. It's or a two year warranty, basic stuff that you have with hair curlers. And you can actually find this one on Amazon. Let's just talk a little about the hair curler before we get started. This one is the Smooth Curl VHCH03 Curling Iron. It's got a 19 millimeter barrel. Uh, I didn't know anything about barrels before I started curling my own hair. But this thing that you see, this rod, that is known as the barrel. And that is how it basically looks guys you guys can get all that information on amazon you guys can even buy this on amazon if you feel like it but i think i'm not gonna like get into the details of the hair curler because that you can read yourself let's just begin with how i curl my hair now i've already connected it to a plug point it's got this all and off button i don't know if you guys can see but it's right here i'm gonna switch that on and the light right here will turn red also you guys can also control the temperature from here i don't really use it because i keep it on minimum because i feel like too much heat will just damage the hair and you don't want that. We let that stay for like a minute just so that the barrel can heat up. The thicker the barrel, the wider your curls will be. This video will be another video where I'm constantly looking down, not at the camera because... You're gonna have to see what she's doing. Alright, I think that it is a little... Okay, yeah. So it's hot now. Sectioning your hair is just super important when you're planning to curl your hair. I really don't know what it's called, guys, but like... It looks something like that. You get these in all markets. So I'm just going to take this and take the tail of the comb and section my hair into two halves all the way like that. Anyway, then I'm going to be taking the comb and just like brushing past just to avoid any tangles. I've just washed my hair so I don't think there's going to be much of a problem or like tangles or anything like that. Once I'm done with combing my hair, I will just divide this into two parts, alright? Now it's really easy, a lot of people mess this up, but don't worry. You want to wrap your hair around one finger. This is literally what I do. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do it this way. I'm going to be using a clip like that. This is literally like a very basic clip. You guys can find these anywhere. And I will just attach that clip with a rubber band. This also depends on how thick your hair is. My hair is like super thick, so... I need extra stuff to just, you know, keep it intact. Usually I just work with the section of my hair that's towards the outside so that I can just throw it apart and, you know, then work freely. If I had to work with the inside section first, I'd again and again have to keep overlapping and that would just ruin the entire thing. So I'm going to work with the out section first. So my barrel is still hot and I'm going to be taking my hair curler this way, going all the way till the bottom, tilting it a little if I feel like, because my hair is in layers, so if I feel like um, a lot of hair will not come in inside the thing, 
I can just tilt it a little because of the steps. I'm gonna keep it here for about like literally 10 seconds. Not more because you might end up burning your hair and not less because your curls will not happen naturally. Like it, it's not magic, right? You have to keep it there for about 10 seconds. Okay, now when it's done, I just like to pull a little bit of it and then you know. Some people just like to, you know, get really like formed, like really structured curls. I don't, I feel like the messier the better. Sometimes hair will just, you know, get out of the way. It will not get, it won't like come inside your hair curler. But that's only because like your hair is cut in layers or some other reason like that. It's not because, you know, your hair curler has a problem. Anyway, I feel like I'm talking a lot. Let's just get to work. Okay, so once I'm done with this section, I'm going to open the inner section and then just give it a little brush and I'm going to divide a little bit of it. See, sometimes when I burnt my hair real bad, like I'm not even kidding, sometimes I'm doing this and suddenly I forget that I'm doing it, I'm like scrolling through Instagram, I forget that I'm curling my hair and then I'm just going to like remember after about like 15 seconds and I'll be like, holy shit. Sometimes I just switch the button off, like the red button that I told you guys about because I feel like sometimes it just gets too much and I just don't want it to be super hot because if you keep it on, it's obviously just going to keep, you know, taking in the heat. What is, what is this piece of hair doing outside? If you're having trouble getting your hair out of the barrel, Sometimes I just like to roll the barrel down again and then take out all my hair again. And as I told you about the flakes, sometimes it just will not come and I will have to try to, you know, tilt my barrel as much as I can, but it will still um, kind of go out of the curler. But don't worry, you guys can obviously take it in again. I'm gonna start doing the other side of my hair now. I don't know why I've taken such a large chunk of hair knowing that like my hair is not going to get inside the barrel. <laughs> Sometimes I just do stuff. done with this section as well and I'm going to be opening my hair from this part you guys just have a look at that guys this is how you get natural curls guys <laughs> without doing anything
so I'm almost done with it. Uh, this was probably one of the easiest videos to film because I'm literally just doing the same exact thing again and again. But for those of you who just want a little bit of it in depth, I'm just going to explain it with one last section that I'm still left to do. So see, it's really easy guys. You want to take your barrel like that. Make sure that this is like your hair is literally in between the two. You want to straighten it out once. And then start from the bottom. You can either curl it inward or you can curl it outward depending on the way you want your curls to look. Usually I do it inwards. But sometimes I also do it outwards. So like don't go by what I say. Yeah, I'm just going to go all the way in like that. Keep it there for like about 10 seconds. Just so that they get like a little bit of structure. And to remove it, I literally just press this button through which, you know, the barrel like opens up. And then I just like pull the hair out. And that's how I get the curl. Now comes the stage after curling. Because again, it's not like the easiest thing in the world. Typically, I like keeping my hair towards, like I like to part it towards this side. So I would do that. This is how the hair looks when it's curled. Now I'm going to be using the hairspray. This one's from Nova. It is the Ultra Hold hairspray. It's this blue bottle. And it is done. I have successfully curled my hair in about half an hour, guys. today's video i hope you all enjoyed and i hope this taught you how to curl your hair if you're looking for a new hair curler or if you're just wanting to start out you want curls like this 19 millimeter barrel vega hair curler i will leave the product link in the description box it's not super expensive pretty well priced for a hair curler does an excellent job and that is what you guys wanted to watch i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and if it taught you something if you're new to my channel i would love for you to hit the subscribe button and honestly like the subscribe button is such a beautiful thing like it makes me feel so happy when you guys subscribe so please do that and please leave a comment down below letting me know what other videos you guys want to watch and i'm going to see you guys next time till then bye bye